the Finger Lakes Railroad, railroad access for New York's Finger Lakes region. The Finger Lakes Railroad is centered in Geneva on the lifeline in the palm of the Finger Lakes region of New York. The lines branch east to Syracuse, north to Lyons, west to Canandaigua, south to Watkins Glen, and southeast to Seneca Army Depot. The Finger Lakes Railroad interchanges freight with CSX transportation to the north, Norfolk Southern to the south, and Canadian Pacific to the north. These choices allow for best prices and best services for the Finger Lakes Railroad customers. The Norfolk Southern Coal Train arrives in the yard with between 40 and 45 hopper cars. This will be the train we take today as far as Auburn. The coal train's ultimate destination is Solvay, New York. There are 11 lakes that make up what is traditionally considered the Finger Lakes. Cayuga Lake is the longest of the Finger Lakes at 40 miles in length. The largest and deepest of the lakes is Seneca Lake. Geneva, home of the Finger Lakes Railway, is at the northern end of Seneca Lake, and at the southern end is Watkins Glen, home of the Watkins Glen International Racetrack. The Finger Lakes Railway runs on about 140 miles of track in western New York. The Finger Lakes Railway services Watkins Glen to the Penn Yen Industrial Line, the Canandaigua Line, the Auburn Road from Geneva to Auburn and Solvay, and the Corning Secondary from Lyons to Himrod Junction. The railroad handles salt, paper, plastic, grain, fertilizer, lumber, coal, food products, scrap metal, steel products, and rocks. Locomotives 1989 and 1979 are former Conrail GEB 23-7 units built in 1979. Before the locomotives couple up to the train, however, some maintenance work needs to be done on one of them. Brake shoes need to be replaced on locomotive 1979. Other railroad crews are getting ready to do track work at two locations along the line to Auburn. Zero pressure on there, buddy. Zero. Engineer Mike Hall is preparing for the trip. Brian Conaway will be the conductor on this trip. Engineer Mike Hall moves the train forward so that Brian Conaway can attach the flashing rear end device, appropriately referred to as Fred, to the last car on the train.
After the fret is attached and the air pressure is checked, the train backs up and gets its clearance to leave for Auburn. The coal train does not run on a regular schedule. When it does run, it usually runs on two consecutive days. While we are still in Geneva, we pass by Blowers Incorporated, which handles fertilizers. The 
Bailey Lumber Company in Waterloo works with hardwood lumber products. Bailey Lumber was founded in 1923 and it provides hardwood products in the United States and internationally. They also produce products using Brazilian teak and walnut. Bailey Lumber is equipped to kiln dry wood and produces finished and dressed lumber. Waterloo is a picturesque town where tourists like to stroll the streets and shop at the local stores. The track crews from Geneva has arrived and are building a turnout so the train cars can service the Eagle Snacks plant. Eagle Foods produces Gordon Real Lemons. It receives loads of citrus concentrates from Florida and California. Its outbound finished products go to many chain stores. Famous Gould pumps, which started in 1848, are produced in Seneca Falls. They began by producing municipal, agricultural, and industrial pumps, but more recently have become the world's leading manufacturer of residential well water pumps. Seneca Falls was incorporated in 1831. Ten years later, in 1841, the Rochester and Auburn Railroad was instrumental in opening the doors to the world markets.
Seneca Falls is credited with being birthplace of the women's rights movement. Many famous people came to Seneca Falls to give speeches and promote the movement. Frank Capra visited Seneca Falls and it is likely he was inspired by the town and used it as the basis of Bedford Falls in his famous movie, It's a Wonderful Life. At one time, Seneca Falls had the third largest flour milling center in the world after ones in Rochester and Oswego, New York. Brian Conaway needs to flag this crossing because the automatic signals are not working. The SEPTA recycling plant is in Seneca Falls. Aluminum cans and other aluminum products are processed into large ingots which are then shipped to manufacturers who make new products from this recycled aluminum. Here we cross the Seneca River, which was once part of the Erie Canal system. It was also known as the Barge Canal. Cuyahoga Lake we pass over the causeway and its bridges.
The beautifully restored Cayuga Station sits right on the bank of the Cayuga Lake. At the Kelly Road crossing, another Finger Lakes Railroad work crew replaces ties. This train crew reports that they have seen as many as 40 or 50 deer at this location. In Auburn, we go by automatic rolls of New York. This large business produces bread products from McDonald's. Auburn, New York was founded in 1793. It is 35 miles west of Syracuse and 120 miles east of Buffalo. It was chartered as a city in 1848. The Lehigh Valley Railroad was completed in 1871. The railroad's primary function was to carry coal from Pennsylvania to Auburn Wharves on Lake Ontario at Fairhaven. Many famous people have called Auburn, New York their home. Abner Doubleday, creator of baseball, was from Auburn. Harriet Tubman, a freedom fighter and escaped slave, helped African Americans gain freedom through the Underground Railroad. She bought property on the outskirts of Auburn, New York from another famous Auburn resident, Secretary of State William Seward of Seward's Folly fame.
this winter trip from Geneva to Auburn is like traveling through history. We hope you've enjoyed the trip. Thank you for coming along with us. Please join us again for our next Train Time show.